Okay, what we've been trying to do is give you a general overview of the situation in Israel and in the Bedouin community. Um, and now we will start talking about the results, or preliminary results of the study. Um, the first uh, speaker to give some results will be Dr. Asami Hamdan, who's a doctoral student. And he's going to present the uh, psychosocial results, looking at the family um, that we studied and looking at the kinds of psychopathology and psychological attributes of the um, family that was associated with uh, the high suicide rates of this particular, particular village. I would like uh, first to thank uh, uh, Professor Apter and uh, Professor Brent about uh, their supervision and uh, the help of uh, uh, Dr. Milham about uh, the, and the result uh, uh, and the data analysis. And also I'd like to thank uh, uh, Muhammad, Dr. Muhammad al Haib for his uh, big advantage and uh, the main facilitation that uh, he made inside the uh, Tuba village. Uh, I'd like to start about uh, the suicidality among the Arab uh, world. We know that the reporting and the data collection in the suicide and the parasuicide in these countries are, are difficult because two, uh, because two reasons. First of all, because most of the Arab world and the Islamic world, in the Islam it's illegal to commit suicide. And in some countries, there is a, it is a, um, a crime by law that uh, that uh, people uh, will go to prison. So there's a lot of underestimate of, of this uh, of this rate in uh, in this specific uh, in this specific uh, world. So our research will be uh, is the uh, I think one of the first explorative uh, study uh, conducting among uh, special population inside the Arab uh, uh, culture and inside the Islamic, the Bedouin. So as uh, Dr. Benham mentioned, uh, the, the objective is uh, a linkage study of suicidal behavior among large uh, homogeneous and endogamous Bedouin family. Uh, the objective was to conduct risk factors using, using the CD and uh, also uh, to, to conduct the, uh, uh, all the psychopathological uh, MDD, anxiety, aggression, and impulsivity, and also to try to figure out if the uh, family history of suicidality affect and how it affect their, their behavior in the, in, in the present. We also conduct, a, we also try to figure out what, what are the protective factors that it will known in the, in the, other, uh, in the other research. So we, we try to, to find if the family cohesion and the family uh, and friend support will, uh, will, uh, will inhibit the, uh, the suicidality and the suicide uh, behavior and also how the Islam, how the religion affect this, uh, this behavior. As mentioned earlier, this study, they have a high rate of consanguinity we build a huge B degree, which can con it contain about uh, 2,000 persons in 1,000, 1,000 paintings, and we found that if we go up there the f in the five, in the f in the fifth generation, there's all of them are in the, from the same father and, and mother. So, and it, they, it is still in, in this in this time, it's still high consanguinity. And there is a lot of another uh, genetic problems uh, that maybe in next uh, opportunity we will mention. In the last decade, there, there, there were six suicide completers and also more than 30% sui uh, suicide attempters. So this is the risk factor, and we try also to, to find the, the, the protective factors. Uh, the main age was 20, 28, and uh, almost uh, half of them are male and uh, female. And in our demographic statistics, we found that uh, about more than 70% are in the first, third, or, or uh, thir uh, second or third uh, uh, relation with family uh, with the uh, family history of suicide. That means 
one of their members try or commit suicide in the past. This is the lifetime uh, uh, prevalence of uh, psychiatric disorder. We've, we, as you can see, there's a high rate of uh, uh, MDD and high rate of anxiety disorder. The first risk factor was uh, MDD. We found that uh, there's uh, significant differences between suicide attempters who, uh, who report uh, MDD, major depression, uh, major depression, compared with the non with uh, with non uh, suicide uh, attempters. We found also that there's uh, uh, significant differences between uh, suicide attempters who suffer from anxiety compared with the non suicide attempt, uh, attempters. We didn't find a, a PTSD because uh, it was about six persons uh, who uh, suffer from PTSD, especially uh, they, uh, b uh, it's affected by car accident and, uh, and death of uh, one of their relatives. We also found um, a significant between uh, s um, uh, people who uh, uh, try to uh, suicide attempters and their aggression behavior compare with the uh, with the non suicide attempters also in impulsivity we found that uh, impulsivity is uh, facilitate their uh, their uh, suicide uh, thoughts and suicide ideation and uh, even suicide attempters the second risk factor is the family history of suicide so which we found that there's a difference, it's not, si not significant differences if we just parallel the, the first and the second and the third uh, degree. But when we just collapse no relative and relative, we found uh, an, uh, significant differences between, between uh, the two groups. That means the family history of suicide contribute to their, to their suicidality in the present. We also found that the family history of suicide also contributed to their suicidal uh, ideation. And about the psychopathology, we, we, as, as you can see, there's a significant differences in their psychopathology. That means also the family history of suicide contribute and arise their psychopathology report. And uh, in uh, depression, anxiety, and also uh, PTSD. Now we will try to, to see if, uh, if the protective factor is, uh, is almost uh, similar to, the, to other research in the world. So, as you can see, there is no, there's no uh, huge differences between the suicide non-attempters and the suicide attempts. That mean the, the religion is not a main protective factor. We can explain it by that must because the Bedouin, as Dr. El Hay mentioned, because it's a traditional society, so practicing uh, religion is, is kind of social aspects and not and, and not uh, only religi religious aspect. People, a lot of people, just fasting in in Ramadan uh, in Ramadan month because the tradition and because the social conformity confirmation just uh, uh, enforce them to do that. So I think, I think the religion in this specific uh, area is not a protective factor as, as we hypothesis. We found that there is, that the social and the, the, the family, the family and the, uh, and the, uh, and the friend uh, support is a protective factor. Uh, we find that there is a huge differences between non-suicide attempters that uh, they report a, a, a high, a high network and a high net, a support network from the family and from friends, compared with the suicidal uh, attempters. We ask them also, in general, where is a, is a situation that uh, suicide is is acceptable, and we found that there is no differences. That means that even the suicide attempters do believe that the, there's, there's no right to commit suicide. One of our uh, limitations in this, uh, in this uh, project, because this is a retrospective assessment, uh, it, 
Actually, it's not, because when, we, when I conducted the, the interview, we, we also found that there is a specific people who, 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 uh, who try, uh, uh, who was suicide attempters just one, one, uh, one week before. And we also enlarge and conduct their family also. Uh, we, we, I didn't, I didn't meet with, with people with, uh, with, alco uh, with alcohol and, uh, uh, um, and drug abuse because their availability is, uh, some of them uh, are also involved in crime, so some of them uh, are not available. But I think that uh, this is one of our limitation. And also, despite that there's high rate of involvement in this project, people uh, more than 50 years old, it was unacceptable to, uh, to, to make the interview with them. So, so the, must, the, uh, the higher age was at, uh, uh, around 50 years old. Also, the current analysis do not take the, uh, into account the complexity of the, of the pedigree. And because, as Dr. Menhem mentioned, there's subgroups include in this specific tribe. And when we build the pedigree, we just, we just focus in two, two main subgroups. So I believe that if we want to just to make it more complex, we have, we have to, uh, to share up about 3,000 people inside the pedigree. That's it for now. Thank you very much.